Hi there, this is Christine over here. Thank you for clicking in this video and welcome to my channel where I talk about my passion for handbags of mostly contemporary and sometimes on a rare occasion, luxury items. And in today's video, I just wanted to unbox this item with y'all that I purchased from Coach. I did buy this um, online and had an order for pickup. So I haven't seen it, I haven't touched it, so it's literally an unboxing. And this eye candy right here is a denim bag from the denim collection of Coach. Now, is denim really a trend that we should all hop into? Really, do you think? I don't know, because honestly, personally, to me, I like denim where I can wear them, not as a bag though. I like my denim as pants, as denim as skirt, denim as a jacket, but I don't know it being a bag. Not until I saw this specific style and said, you know what? That might just be the only denim bag that I'll consider to be a bag to carry with me. I don't know. And with all of the stuff that I wanted to get um, or my checklist for this year, I was also thinking of getting the Tory Burch handbag, which you already know if you are following the channel. I've talked about it before. Now, I'm just going to keep talking while I'm unboxing it. Whoa. It's not even like wrapped wrapped, huh? Now, when I decided to buy this bag, this is actually sponsored by my dad so as a gift um, for passing my board exam. Now, one of the designing factor is that I didn't want to get the Tory Burch quilt bag in black because it's just too many repeats in my collection and I'm trying to get variety and not too many repeats. And this one, because I never had a denim bag and I don't have this type of bag specifically, I think it's a good choice that I went on. I went with this bag instead of the Tory Burch quilt bag. Now, let's get to the unbagging. It looks like it's not factory wrapped. I don't, I don't hear any plastic. So, yep, it's a dust, a dust bag, and whew, I got the Raya or Ria denim backpack by Coach. Now, I'm not a fan of denim bags. I didn't even, I don't know, I just don't like the denim bag in particular as part of a handbag. I feel like it's just not me, but this one specifically, I guess because of the cc logo or monogram all over it it's nice you know what i mean it doesn't look like a bag made out of pants or levi's jeans at least in my opinion now i love the combination of this um leather right here and that wow okay now i'm gonna give you guys a 360 if you see any flaw, please let me know. Because <laughs> I don't know what to expect with this bag, honestly. Because I've never had a denim bag before. Okay. <clears throat> and excuse me, my throat hurts. <laughs> so I had asthma um, attack a couple of days ago and it's been bad. I think it's the allergies when the spring came in. So this turn lock, out of all the Rhea or Raya bags that I've seen that they had, this style specifically has that nice oval um, turn lock here instead of the C, which I really like. So I appreciate that. And then it's just that small pocket on the front. And I think you can put in a card holder there. And then the push button here to undo it. And you've got the drawstring. I think this is a good... If you've seen my collection, which I haven't shown anyone in any way, you would really think that this is a good option for me to buy instead of the um, Kira quilted diamond bag because again, if I buy that, it's just a repeat because I already have the Kira quilted bags and then I also have the Coach um, quilted tabby in black and gold. So if I buy the diamond quilt bag by Tory Burch is just another repeat in the collection and I kind of don't want to have too many things of the same style but if they do come out with another color I will be considering that one so yeah I mean it's just pretty much an open interior right there and because the base of the bag is pretty structured you probably won't be needing 
an organizer but we'll go ahead and just get into um what fits in the bag but before i do that actually <clears throat> i'm going all over the place here i'm really excited to see the bag but i am i am in shock that it's not factory wrapped but i'm guessing that's because it was from the store and they just removed it so this is the hang tag and i love the color of this bag i i really like the color um i'm doing this i'm recording right now there's no sunlight it's cloudy and it's 5 30 p.m and then i've got two lamps turned on so i don't know if the lights are giving a good um, lighting right now to show you how the color is really because on the website it looks like it's really 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 dark it's like super duper navy blue but it's not it's like a dark jeans dark blue jeans like your generic dark blue jeans and i really like this i really like that and no pop stitching or anything okay so far it's it, it's good I, I think i like it a lot and i'm just gonna go ahead and put these together there are one two three four five six seven i don't know if that matters to you but there are seven holes for adjustment i'm just gonna put it on the fourth which is in the very very middle Ta -da! just like that and i am currently my bag of the week is the Longchamp La, La, La Piage, or I don't know how you say it, but I, that's what I'm using right now. And I'm just going to take my stuff from there and transfer it over here to see what really fits in the bag. And it looks like it's going to fit a lot. And it doesn't look as tiny as I thought it would have been. Pretty decent size. Like, I think I'm going to be using this way more than I imagined. It's so casual very summery vibe to me i don't know i really like the combination of the dark blue jeans and the brown one so yeah um oh you know what sorry before i get into what fits in the bag i went to macy's yesterday as well and i went to the mall to return some stuff and then i went to macy's just to check what they have in there i kid you not i don't know macy's is such a killjoy and shopping you buy something nice from their store but then they just put it in in a plastic bag like they don't even have a paper bag not even a small one i almost wanted to tell the guy like just hand it to me i don't need a bag anyways so i got this wallet right here this is a card holder zipper wallet and it has a a slip pocket in the back i have a similar wallet to this in the monogram canvas so I really like this style. Honestly, really love this style. And I thought of getting this one because it matches this bag, supposedly. I don't know if it really matches. It doesn't completely match because it's not. It's a light, lighter jean shade. And then at least it has that brown leather right there to kind of go with it. I don't know. It doesn't have to be matchy-matchy. I mean, looks good to me. And for some reason, the card holder is it's more pricier than this one i don't know why this is cheaper than the card holder and i like this one better anyway because it's gonna go well with this bag so right again just wanted to mention i don't know if it's just me but macy's is such a killjoy when it comes to shopping experience i don't know this is my bag of the week the longchamp la piage in paper i do have a bag organizer in there that's why it's structured right now i'm just gonna go ahead and put stuff one by one and transfer them in this bag so first of course my wallet again gifted by my mom and then i put that down my toiletry pouch that has everything that i need when i go out and it fits perfectly in there as you can see i mean i'm pretty sure you can fit everything that you probably need in this bag then i have a key pouch that i got from dress up but dress up your purse and then i'm just gonna toss my key fob in the back slip pocket that they have back here uh, 
um, a hand sanitizer. I'm probably just gonna put my AirPods um, where I need easy access. So I'm gonna put it in the front pocket. It's perfect in there. Love the turn lock on that one. Oh my goodness, I love the turn lock on this one. Oh, I'm actually liking this bag way more than I thought I would. So, of course, tissue and my inhaler. Mm. I don't know if you guys are familiar with white flower. I carry white flower with me. It helps with the migraines. Yeah, I think that's it. And then I'm out of Mentos, so I'm just gonna toss this in here anyway. I'm gonna put it in the front pocket because it's very little. Wow. And of course I'm using my phone to record and yeah. So this is what I have so far and you can see it fits perfect in there with room for more. If you need to put in bottled water, you can um, pretty much stick it to that side right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just put in this um, sunglasses because we need to see if it can hold it. That's probably the bulkiest sunglass case that I have besides the Burberry. But yeah. And of course it fits. Ta-da! I love how it looks right now. So it fits right now, but I haven't actually closed it. So let's go ahead and close this. Um, draw string, bag, and then I think the design of this one, you're supposed to tuck in the string under. Wow, it's just a little cumbersome right there. Okay, and then push the lock in there. ta -da. It looks pretty and not deformed. Oh, I like that. You know what though? I guess it's, I guess it's just part of the design. These little buttons right here, I don't know what they're for. I think it's just the aesthetic of it being a pair of jeans, supposedly. I don't know. I don't know what they're for. There's no, there's no purpose to it. It's just there. So yeah. And it has them in the back too. So you've got two buttons right here and then one on each side. I guess it's just a design for the aesthetic of it being jeans, I guess. I don't know. But what do you think? I do like it. I do like it a lot. And honestly, I was going to say, no, we're not buying. We're not going to go. We're not going to hop on the denim trend. But I saw this design. I saw this style. I saw it in one of the YouTubers, but I don't remember her name. It's just because I binge watch YouTube videos. I don't know if you do, but if you do, you're, I'm with you on that. I just binge watch people. And especially when it comes to handbags, I like to listen and watch them also and see what they have on their collection. I don't know, I just like those things, but yeah. What do you think about the denim trend? What do you think about this denim bag? I don't know, are you thinking of a denim bag? But I think this is probably a must have in your collection if you're thinking to have a denim bag and you're like skeptical about it. I think this is probably hands down the best denim design I have seen on the market. And it's decently priced. I don't know why, but Bloomingdale's is priced at $500 or $495. This one is for 50 at Coach's website. So yeah, I don't know if it's still available on their website. I hope it's still available. Um, it is such a pretty bag. So hunt this down if you want a denim bag in your collection. I think this is one that you should have in your collection. That's just my personal opinion. If you don't like that, um, I, I respect that. So yeah, but that, that looks so cool. I'm, I might monogram this one or we'll see yeah well hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you do like this video and if you did don't forget to um give it a thumbs up and if you like my channel please consider subscribing if anything else i'll see you guys on the next video bye